Okay, so the Lumix camera, which I hope you recognize, um, the back of it anyway. So we've got sort of some menu things down here, a few extra buttons up and around here. There's a dial up here, a um, few extra buttons on the top. Um, but this is the, the screen here, which I'll now just kind of gently coerce open. So on top of the Lumix camera, we've got uh, a microphone, which is the, the onboard microphone, hot shoe plate for all your little fancy accessories. We've got a focus select wheel around here. Um, we've got sort of a mode selector wheel here record button, there's a shutter button up there for stills, uh, and there's a function button just there. Front of the Lumix camera, not a lot uh, to see really, obviously the front of the lens is there, um, but over this side, just down here, we've got a lens release button, which is uh, handy for when you would like to uh, release the lens. Okay, so in terms of getting ready to shoot with the Lumix camera, take the lens cap off, obviously, and then we'll want to flick the, the camera on. Uh, so on the top of the camera, next to the mode wheel, you have an on-off switch. So we'll just flick that on. Little green light will come on. Now, we'll just want to make sure that we're in movie mode. Um, dead giveaway is the little film camera icon next to the letter M. Uh, and that'll just make sure we're in movie mode and ready to go. Okay, so some menu settings. So we hit the middle button, which is menu. Always make sure that manual movie mode here is on. Okay, and then go down. So this is the motion picture settings menu. So if we go across, film mode is what we set earlier when we put it in cinema. So we don't need to worry about that. If we go down and then across, Always make sure that this is set to AVC HD 1080i. Go down to recording quality. Now we always want to make sure this is on FSH because that just means that the full sensor of the camera is being used and we're getting the highest quality image. So just make sure that's set. That should flash. Make sure uh, exposure mode. Um, go across. Now we want that on P. Going down. Make sure all of these are in the off mode. These are all your uh, automatic settings and we just need to make sure that we have as much control over the image uh, ourselves um, as we can. Often automatic modes can't be trusted. So just make sure they're all in off. Metering mode, don't, know, don't need to worry about that. Mic level display, we always want on. We always want to know how much sound we're getting, even just through the onboard mic. Um, Mic level adjust, this is entirely up to you. If you want to change it, that's fine. Um, but yeah, generally it'll be on three, but that's all fine. And again, just make sure all these are off. So going down to custom, this is entirely up to you in terms of what you want to see on screen. Histogram um, will show you the levels of color and stuff going into the, into the lens. Guidelines will be all your um, safe zones, title safe zones. Highlight uh, will be your sort of zebra mode. So that's entirely up to you in terms of what you want to put on there. Uh, there's a bunch, a bunch of other settings and stuff that you can set on here. Uh, and that's entirely up to you in terms of what you want to put on there. Okay, so there are all your settings there. Go back across. Set up, this is all your basic stuff. You want to make sure the beep's off. You can set the time if you like um, and change the volume for playback uh, when you want to do that. My menu, that's a highlights menu um, in terms of all your favorites uh, in terms of settings and stuff. So you can change that as you see fit. Playback, this just changes uh, the, the playback options obviously. So you can change that again, just have a play. Uh, and then we're back to the start. So if we hit the menu button out of there and we're back in the home mode. So to set our exposure, we use this wheel, which we push in and then on our screen, the exposure meter down the bottom will change in color from white 
to yellow. This means that we can change our exposure by rotating the wheel to the left or to the right. To lock off the exposure, once we've set it, we push that button back in and then the exposure meter will change from yellow back to white. Uh, that would be ideal for some kind of setup interview situation where the light is constant. If we're shooting on the fly and we know we'll be moving around through different light sources, maybe from indoor to outdoor, we might just leave that exposure open so that we can change it as we go. One other thing you may want to do, obviously, is fix up your white balance and your ISO. So we'll go through those settings now. ISO is the quality of the, of the grain. Uh, on the image. So there's a basic setting that we'll want to keep for ISO, so we'll hit ISO. Look, you can change it around, have a bit of a play. As you go down to lower settings, that will obviously change uh, the quality of the image. Um, in, if you're in super indoors, you might want to bump it up, bump it up to around the sort of 1600 or, or 2000 mark. Um, but generally, in terms of bright light shooting, 800 should keep you covered. Um, now in terms of white balance, hit the, the right hand one here and look generally we'll want to keep that on automatic um, if we know for example the the temperature that we want to go for we can set that over there if we want but generally for what you're doing I think automatic white balance should do the trick the focus wheel is on the on the top of the camera um, sort of over on the left hand side if you're looking at it from the back um, and look this, this middle wheel isn't really that important. What we're really interested in are these three settings along the top. Uh, and we're really only interested in one of those, which is the manual focus setting. Now to change that, you just rotate this little lever around um, until, until that's on manual. Uh, and that should give you full control over the focus of your image. As you uh, turn the focus wheel, um, the screen will change and you can zoom in on your focus point. Okay, and zoom out, and then when you're happy, just hit the menu set button. Okay, so changing a lens, we start with the lens that we want to change to. Uh, in this case, it's the 45 to 200. So this back lens cap comes off first. So we just sort of uh, anti clockwise unscrew it take that off, set that not too far away because we'll need that shortly. Now if we're sitting this down, which we will, this is generally the sort of strongest part of the lens, this metal bit here. We don't want to smash it down because the shock wave will shatter this glass, which isn't a good thing. So we'll just gently set that down to one side. So we'll then grab our Lumix camera, which we've just been shooting with. Now on here at the moment we've got the 14 to 42. Now we'll want to grab our lens cap, our front lens cap first of all, uh, and make sure that's securely on the camera so that we don't get any fingerprints or nasties over here or accidentally drop it or anything like that. We'll then want to grab the body of the camera where we can and hold the lens in one of the non-rotatable parts which is generally the part nearest the camera. So this bit here. Depress the lens release button and then we'll want to just rotate the lens gently, making sure we've got a firm hold of everything. And then when that's ready to come out, it should just disengage from the body of the camera. Again, we'll gently set that down on the, 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 the solid part of the camera. Grab our, our new lens that we want to put in. Now on the back here, there's a, or on the side, there's a red dot. On the body of the camera, there's a red dot. We want to line those up. And then once we've lined them up, we just rotate again until we hear a click. And then remove our lens cap and we're right to go. Uh, but before we do that, we just always want to make sure that that rear lens cap that we took off our, our first lens, the lens that's on the camera now, goes back on to the lens that we just removed. 